the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus, we are today commemorating the memory of presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the temple. And today's our gospel passage, Jesus, Jesus is having an encounter with the Sadducees who denied the resurrection, the immortality of the soul, and the existence of the angels. That is why they have obviously made fun of this belief of resurrection by posing an argument saying, at the resurrection, whose wife will, will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. But Jesus answered that question by saying that Moses, who wrote that when God manifests his presence to Moses in the burning bush, the Lord tells him that he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So he is the God of the living and the dead. Thus he proved that there is resurrection. So as we celebrate this memoria and based on this gospel, we all are being presented to Jesus in the hands of him through the sacrament of baptism. So we too are called to live a righteous life as Mary lived in her own life. So to offer the sacrifice in a meaningful way, let's call to mind our failed moments of the past and let us lead a life worthy enough to our presentation that we have been done at the time of the sacrament of baptism. So let's ask this grace through this celebration. At the same time, let us ask pardon for all our failures. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to my brothers and sisters that I have <coughs> greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book of Apocalypse. I, John, heard a voice saying, These, my two witnesses, are the two olive trees and the two lambs 
that stand before the Lord of the world. Fire can come from their mouths and consume their enemies if anyone tries to harm them. And if anybody does try to harm them, he will certainly be killed in this way. They are able to lock up in the sky so that it does not rain as long as they are prophesying. They are able to turn water into blood and strike the whole world with any plague as often as they like. When they have completed their witnessing, the beast that comes out of the abyss is going to make war on them and overcome them and kill them. Their corpses will lie in the main street of the great city known by the symbolic names Sodom and Egypt, in which their Lord was crucified. Men out of every people, race, language, and nation will share at their corpses for three and a half days, not letting them be buried. And the people of the world will be glad about it and celebrate the event by giving presents to each other because these two prophets have been a plague to the people of the world. After the three and a half days, God breathed life into their corpses and they stood up and everybody who saw it happen was terrified. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, Come up here. And while their enemies were watching, they went up to heaven in a cloud. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. To you, O God, I will sing a new song. I will play on the ten-string lute. To you who gave kings their victory, who set David, your servant, free. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, those who say that there is no resurrection, approached Jesus and they put this question to him Master, we have it from Moses in writing that if a man's married brother dies childless, the man must marry the widow to raise up children for his brother. Well then, there were seven brothers. The first having married a wife 
died childless. The second and then the third married the widow. The same with all the seven. They died leaving no children. Finally, the woman herself died. Now at the resurrection, to which of them will she be wife since she had been married to all seven? Jesus replied, The children of this world take wives and husbands, but those who are judged worthy of a place in the other world and the resurrection from the dead do not marry, because they can no longer die, for they are the same as the angels, and being children of the resurrection, they are sons of God. And Moses himself implies that the dead rise again in the passage about the bush, where he calls the Lord the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now he is God not of the dead, but of the living. For to him all men are in fact alive. Some scribes then spoke up, Well put, Master, they said, because they would not dare to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sacrifice and yours may be pleasing to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your son. No petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memoria of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the order of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise 
as we all acclaim. Holy indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness may holy day for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him O God, Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
all glory and honor is yours forever and Let us pray in the words that our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen.
the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen the mass is ended go in the peace of christ thanks be to god